I was most excited about creating a connection with men, and I had some hesitation and some uh, fear around that. And so I wanted to challenge myself by coming here and confronting that fear and just being open and vulnerable and seeing what happened. So what, I, what I've been most taken with here has been how open, supportive and caring and loving that the other men have been. And so what I hope to bring back with me in my real life and personal life when I get back home is just to continue that dialogue or openness so that I can remain to be open and vulnerable and have uh, positive, meaningful relationships with other men that are not based on any expectations, just based on friendship, support, camaraderie, connection. I think, um, you know, we're in a bubble right now. We are in a house, we're snowed in. We have to deal with this stuff, these activities, these workshops, these conversations. And back home, real life gets in the way and you can reschedule or blow it off or say I'll do it tomorrow or procrastinate or just live outside of integrity and just not do it. And um, here, you know, we're held accountable not just by the facilitators, but by the other men. We also, we don't want to let these other guys down. You know, we want to we want to show up and be here and be present and be participating. And, and when you do let go, you know, that's when the magic happens. I would say just be open and I would say if, there, if it's something you're yearning for and if it's something that's calling to you and you just can't pull the trigger or just make it happen, look at why, look at what's getting in the way and look at what you have to do to get it out of the way. Because you, you will find some very meaningful, life-changing experiences here if you open yourself up to it.